Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Yoron Chaki. So today we are going to talk about Singaporean slang words. So you know, Shinglish is a real head scratcher. Whether you are in Singapore for a holiday or just move here for a job, this seemingly mumble jumble of sounds they call a language is going to confuse you. Our Malaysian friends may be able to relate to some though. If you are still clueless at this point, Singlish is a local lingo in Singapore. It's a fabulous concoction of English. Mandarin, Hokkien, Dochi. Dochu, Cantonese, Malay, and Tamil. And a true reflection of Singapore's multicultural society. You might hate it or love it, but you are going to have to understand it when you are in Singapore. So here I have gathered some of the most commonly used Singlish words and phrases. So number one, la, I mean la, la or ma. So Singaporeans like to add these words as a suffix to their sentence as the way to add emphasis. They can be used interchangeably and really do not translate to English. So the example like this. Excuse me, how do I get to Orchard Road? Just turn left here and walk straight. Not that difficult lah, just follow the sign. So number two. Walawe. So Walawe has the same meaning as Oh my gosh, oh my god. Well, it doesn't literally translate to oh my gosh. It's used more of an expression of shock. You can use their expression as they both have the same meaning. So the example like this. I have to rush to the airport. So I booked an Uber. Even though it had a surge pricing of $2. It came out to $70. When I finally reached my destination. Wow, away, so expensive, huh? Huh, like that. Number three. Xiao, xiao, xiao. Xiao means crazy, insane. This is usually used as a sarcastic replay. When someone proclaims they are going to attempt an impossible task or does something stupid. So the example like this. Last night I was so hungry that I ate three bowls of rice and a McDonald's meals. You xiao, huh? <laughs> Number four, chop. Chop mean reserve. It's commonly used in a setting such as an eatery. Chop is also an expression of placing tissue packets on tables in hawker center as an informal reservation. Example, have you got a table in Maxwell food center? I chopped the table with my tissue packets so we can order our food now. Number five, makan. Makan is also a slang word of Singapore. This Malay word means eat. It's also used very commonly in Singlish. Have you makan yet? No, I was waiting for you so we can have lunch together. Number six, kena. So actually this word has a negative connotation and is usually used when someone's complaining about something happened to them. Example, how was your trip? I didn't see much. On my first day there, I kind of flew. Number seven, kiasu. Sounds like yeah. So kiasu means afraid to lose. So actually, this word is not used exclusively in competition type setting, but in every context imaginable. Whether it's queuing to enter the train or MRT or getting to a destination on time, Singaporeans do consider themselves as a kiasu bunch. Our coach departs at 9 a.m. So I suggest that we should leave the house at 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? The coach is 50 minutes away. Don't be so kiasula. So I don't know this is the pronunciation of this word. Number eight, blur. So blur means uh, characteristic of a person who is confused or slow to catch on. So blur is one of singlish words that have more than one meaning. It also can be used in phrases such as egg blur and <laughs> blur like sotong, the example. Is Marina Bay Sand a hotel or casino? Well, uh, why you so blur? It's a hotel and casino. Everyone knows lah. Number nine, shop. Shop. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Shop means delightful. 
This word is used typically to describe dishes. This Malay slang word also can be used to describe one's feeling or excitement or of anything that pleases them. Example. Have you tried katong laksa? Yeah, it was so shock. Shock. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Shock. So number 10, Sian. Sian means bored or fed up. Here is the another word that has two meaning and really comes in handy for a situation where you really bored or fed up like when you are waiting for your flight that has been delayed. The queue for the taxi is so long, so shun. Why don't we take the bus? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, number 11, Angmo. Angmo means describing Westerners who typically have fairer complexion. While there are many ethnicities in the Western world, Angmo generally covers any fair skin individual and is generally not meant to be offensive. So how to use it in this situation? Oh my gosh, did you see that Angmo? He's so handsome. Which one? So that's all the Singlish words that you have to know when you are Singapore. So one more thing you have to know. Don't be surprised when sentence seems muddled up. Sometimes Singlish is literally translated from another language. A good example is, you eat already? This actually means, have you eaten? Singlish is also about counting down on sentences by using short form. Here is the conversation when this can happen. The movie that they good, huh? So they actually want to say like, did you like the movie that we watched the other day? Yes, yeah, good, huh? <laughs> yes, yeah, good, huh? It means, I know, right? I love it. Uh, just the same. So some English words is very different when used in Singlish context. For example, the words already is pronounced already, already, already. The original one, already, and they pronounce already. So that's all the Singlish words that you have to know when you're in Singapore. So if you think you have more Singlish stock, you can comment below. Okay, I'm Aaron Shoki. See you next time. Thank you for watching.